thank you for joining me and thank you welcome back to my channel i just wanted to share with you uh, a small journal that i just finished a little while ago it's a pink and blue shabby chic junk journal so it's soft cover uh, made out of uh, an a4 postage envelope um, it has one signature with 48 double-sided pages um, a mixture of papers including tea coffee dyed uh, book page, vintage music sheets, printables, printed vellum, um, and an, an, an altered envelope um, on the outside of the back cover. So the journal has been bound with two, two, two holes and it has been bound with sorry silk ribbon, the same as the, as the tie. Um, and uh, it just has a few ephemera pieces, but it has been mainly left and decorated, ready to be decorated or written on by the person that, that uh, the lucky owner, uh, just so they can make it their own. So uh, it's approximately uh, 15 centimeters wide and 21 centimeters um, high. So the page, the, the sorry, the uh, cover. Um, it has uh, a card here that I embossed and this is a beautiful image of this little bird in winter. Just found this uh, image so lovely and so I wanted to have it as part of the cover. So there's, uh, there's a few textures here that, um, that, you know, they're lovely to feel and to look at. So they, they're, um, these are um, actually fabric um, flowers that were from a dress, a beautiful dress, including this, um, it's not lace, I think it's embroidered uh, tulle. So these were all part of the of the dress, the same as, as this blue fabric here, This it's satin. And it has some uh, doily been underneath. So, and that's just a pink uh, seam binding ribbon. So when you open it up, there's a pocket here and I've included um, something about journals. These two, uh, this is an image um, with a beautiful bird and some blue flowers. And this is actually an image of, um, of a painting that I, that I did because I do like to paint when I can. I'm not a good painter, I'm obviously learning, but I do enjoy it. It's a relaxing uh, pastime for me as well. So I thought that I would include a, a photo, a printed copy of the of that painting. And um, you know, you can uh, use it as journaling cards. And they just go in here in this little tuck spot, uh, which it has been covered with lace and a uh, little bit of fabric here which is the same fabric as that it's a vintage fabric from an old um, bed cover so these are the pages that i've included there's a vellum that um, has been printed on and there's a lot as i said there's a lot of writing this is um another it could be as a used as a as a journaling card let me just take it out of here. Sorry, I just don't want to pick that. Okay, so it's it's made out of um, uh, packaging brown paper and a beautiful rose image. I think this image is from the uh, Graphics Fairy. So let me just put that back in there. Okay. And this paper is actually an uh, embroidery pattern that I printed this beautiful white rose image on it. A bit of collage with different pieces of paper, ledger and just uh, beautiful writing. And that, that, that's the back of this um, wallpaper, which is a real, real wallpaper. More tea stained. This is a vintage uh, music paper and sorry silk. Uh, the end here and some tulle and a little bit of texture here which I think it just looks beautiful the colors uh, that's an image um, coffee stain or tea stain this is I believe this might be 
from it's a it's a copy or it's a printout of um, wallpaper but i think it might be if it's not from the graphics fairy it could be from um from ruby and pearl it's a page from an old um french book that's a bit of lace from this beautiful um dress that i that i was able to get from a second hand shop uh, it's just beautiful and I love the color too. It's like a, a dusty rose. And that's the middle of the signature with the two holes and this is a sorry silk. This is uh, from Odulcina Scrap. Um, she is a match box uh, little booklet. So um, I got that from her shop and I thought it was just lovely. They're beautiful so I just put a bit of um, lace and ribbon here and that's just this there and this actual this page is from um, a book end page so you know how they usually are a little bit thicker than normal so i just love the feel and i love the color as well book page the other side so this is uh, the, the second half of the other the, the, the first pages uh, this is a cluster here with different lace and fabric and uh, yeah, that's it, the vintage fabric. This is um, the guest uh, guest invoice and, um, and a bit of collage in blue here. So it is pink and blue mainly. This is um, a little bit of a cluster with a few different bits of paper. Uh, touch with a brad so that's a bit of doily beautiful ladies image here and some a bit of writing paper and uh, this was i think this is also from the graphics fairy so that just sits in there and on this side of the vintage paper i just put a bit of a ruffle a rough a fabric ruffle and this is the paper that uh, they used to have in between the photos um, of album photo albums so they used to use this so the photos didn't touch and you know they didn't get damaged so i just like the the feel of it and how it looks um, so i i stuck that on there teach stain that's the other side of the wallpaper and that a bit of more writing vellum and writing paper and here's the back the back cover and there's a pocket here you can add something there um and oh it's a tack i should say and these are the real uh postages from the envelope um that was posted so these are just um, this is a library card and another bit of paper to write this is uh, i think it's from a a scrapbook um, a, a pad so they sit in here in this little pocket oh no pocket it's a tuck spot with lace and some vintage fabric and on this side this is the back the back of the cover uh, and this is a, an unaltered envelope that um, I um, I did some collage on it and a bit of trim and I added a pocket I think I actually folded the um, the envelope up so this is a just to turn it into a pocket and that's just a, a journaling card that sits in there and, yep. uh, and uh, here I added this which is also from Odulcina scrap and um, I just added a little bit of a journal in card you can actually put it in all the way and close it or you can leave it like that and leave it open it's up to you so that just sits in there so it's it's a simple book but i think it's i just love the colors and and loved how it just all falls like that uh, like a waterfall effect um so yeah so i think um i just wanted to share with you uh, what i made and um and I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you if you become one of my subscribers. I will come back soon to show you something else. Uh, and um, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much.